Hello and welcome to the April issue of uh, Aesthetic Surgery Journal. We don't have too many options to evaluate the results of our facelifts. Our patients are happy, we're happy, but is there really an objective way to tell how well we have done? In this paper by Dr. Frouchy and colleagues from the Cleveland Clinic, they look at apparent age as an objective method of assessing the results and effectiveness of a facelift. In the body contouring section, Dr. Doug Senderoff looks at biceps augmentation with solid implants and recommends submuscular placement as opposed to subfascial placement which reduces rotation and displacement of the implant. The discussion from Australia by Dr. Daryl Hodgkinson puts a perspective on this and confirms that intermuscular positioning is the best option. From the research section, I have chosen two papers. The first is an international contribution from Colombia looking at hypothermia, preoperative war warming, and its effect on uh, body contouring. Dr. Ryan Arv Iverson of California puts all of this in perspective. The second paper has to do with the increased demand by men for plastic surgery. This paper, looking at the Cosmetasure data, comes from Vanderbilt. I trust you will read this journal cover to cover. I look forward to seeing all of you at the annual ASAPS meeting in New York. Please come by the ASAPS booth where ASJ will be represented. We'd love to hear from you with your suggestions as to how we can continue to improve your journal. See you in New York.